Hi there, it's Lerald. And since BFA is now fully into its beta, I feel like now is the right time to start putting out tank class previews. The standard disclaimer about beta stuff being subject to change absolutely applies here, and I think it's also worth saying that I don't intend for this preview to be an exhaustive breakdown of every single minute detail for DK that has changed either. That would be exhausting. Anyhow, let's get into Blood DK. Before looking at what's been taken away and what's being added, I just want to compare how the class plays on the BFA beta compared to Legion. Blood is extremely similar to live servers. You use Marrow Ren to maintain Bone Shield, you spend Runic Power with Death Strike to heal incoming damage, and you use Blood Boil, Heart Strike, and Death and Decay whenever you're able. Pretty much just like live. Alright, on to what's changed. Marrow Ren now increases your armor by a percentage of your strength. This doesn't really mean a lot in gameplay terms, but it does have two important effects. First, Strength is a direct defensive reduction stat, which is a good design. Second, tanks don't get free passive damage reduction benefits against spell damage. This does mean that tank-specific boss abilities that deal spell damage will have to be tuned down to compensate, but it also means that tanks can't just totally ignore raid-wide spell damage mechanics either. It's a good move for game design on the whole, and something that the average player really isn't going to notice eh, much, if at all. In addition to that, the biggest change to the base DK class is that Death Strike will now heal for 30% of all damage taken over the last 5 seconds, up from 20% in Legion. This is a pretty massive buff to a class that's already incredibly good at self-healing. It may be intended to compensate for how they've lost some valuable traits from the artifact weapon, but again, this is a 50% buff to an already strong self-heal, so... wow. That also segues me somewhat nicely into my next section here, what's going away? One of the biggest changes from Legion is that the artifact weapon is going away. This means you'll lose rattling bones and your bone shield generation will drop by 10%. Bummer. Another artifact trait of major significance is Vampiric Fangs, which turned Vampiric Blood from a solid mid-level defensive cooldown into an absolute monster of a defensive cooldown. Beyond those two traits, the rest of the artifact consisted of a lot of small bonuses that added up to a lot. And while losing the artifact represents a significant drop in player power overall, there aren't any other traits that you can specifically point to and say, that's the important stuff. As for legendaries, there weren't really any significant game-changing pieces there either. There were some good ones for certain, but nothing that really changed the rotation or affected the playstyle in a major way. Just cooldown reduction for vampiric blood, and increases to self-healing and damage. That's still cool, I like damage, it's just not really that big of a deal in this case. Moving on to what's been added, it's a really short list. Reap Magic is a new offensive dispel available for DKs. It has a 10 second cooldown, and if you successfully dispel an enemy, you get 25 runic power for your trouble. The previous version of this ability let you steal a magic effect from an enemy and then cast it onto an ally. I guess Blizzard felt that that was too clumsy for DKs to use, or overpowered, or probably both. But the current state is a little underwhelming now as a result. If this was what they had given us from the start, I think I'd be a lot more excited. Death's Advance is coming back, and while it has gone through a lot of revamps during the alpha, now beta, it looks to be a combination movement speed increase, slow immunity, and knockback immunity. Cool! Now that we've covered all the base class stuff, let's go over the talent revamp, which basically just looks like Blizzard took the Legion talent tree and put it in a blender for a while. Four old talents are completely gone. Heart of Ice, Spectral Deflection, and Trimble Before Me were all not great talents, and they needed to go. Blood Mirror was a great talent. Too great, as it turns out. And Blizzard didn't like how it rewarded players for intentionally taking extra damage. Alright, let's go through the tree and break it down. Heartbreaker and Blood Drinker are exactly the same as they were in Legion. Rune Strike has a new name, looks new and smells new, but it's really just Blood Tap from Legion, reskinned to deal a little damage and moved into a new row. It looks like it will probably be the most reliable defensive option in the first tier, although probably not as good offensively as Blood Drinker over the course of a fight. Rapid Decomposition now increases Blood Plague damage along with Death and Decay, but it no longer generates Runic Power. Not good! Alongside it are Hemostasis, which looks very much like the legendary shoulder's Skullflower's Hemostasis, 
but you'll note that the talent is only half as potent per stack, and scales with the number of targets you hit with Blood Boil rather than just applying one stack per cast. It's a pretty good talent, certainly the most consistent in this tier. Next to it is Consumption, which is just the artifact weapon skill again. It deals AoE damage and it heals you for it, and that's about it. It's not exactly a very reliable defensive tool, but again, it is still very cool. In the next tier, Will of the Necropolis was moved, but it still sucks. Anti-Magic Barrier was completely redesigned despite keeping the same name and icon, and it now just makes Anti-Magic Shell more powerful and available more often. I'm sure there are encounters in which this will be useful, but neither of those first two talents is really going to be able to hold a candle to Rune Tap, which now reduces damage taken by 30% for 4 seconds. This has changed from 40% for 3 seconds in Legion, which basically makes it a little bit less powerful at the expense of being easier to use. Tightening Grasp from Legion was broken into two talents in BFA. Tightening Grasp now only reduces the cooldown of Gorfiend's Grasp, and Grip of the Dead gives Death and Decay an AoE slow. Wraithwalk, once a horrible baseline mobility skill, is now a horrible mobility talent. Guess what? It's still horrible! Foul Bulwark's health increase has been cut in half. Ossuary now only increases your ability to pool resources, but is otherwise pretty much worthless. And Tombstone, which was a terrible talent during Legion, has been unchanged. Somehow it became better without even doing anything. Weird, right? In the next tier we have a new talent, Voracious. It causes Deathstrike to grant you 15% leech for 6 seconds, which is neat. Bloodworms can proc from non-crit auto attacks but are otherwise unchanged, and Mark of Blood was nerfed by 33% for some reason. Bloodworms and Voracious will both be useful healing options, depending on what you're tanking. Mark of Blood, somehow the terrible talents get even worse. Go figure. And finally we have the last tier, where Purgatory and Bonestorm are basically unchanged, and Red Thirst has been moved in place of Blood Mirror and nerfed by 40%. This comes on top of the loss of Vampiric Fangs, which basically means Blizzard is making a real point to stomp all over Vampiric Blood in BFA. Oh well. Here are a couple of potential raid talent setups. And here is a potential Mythic Dungeon talent setup. Before I finish up, and I want to note that this part of the video is extra special super duper subject to change, I want to go over some of the blood specific Azerite traits. There are four of them. Let's start with Bone Spike Graveyard, which basically just adds some direct damage and healing onto Death and Decay. It's a fine design, not bad, but nothing too flashy either. Next up is Dark Grudge, which increases the Death Strike window by half a second. Half a second might not sound like a lot, but that can be a humongous increase in self-healing over the course of a fight. And the bonus to Death Strike damage is really nice too. This trait is great. This is especially true considering you can get the same trait on multiple pieces of gear and they will stack. So if you had two, three, four pieces of gear that all had Dark Grudge, now your Death Strike window is six or seven seconds long. That's amazing and probably overpowered. Deep Cuts is up next and it's the first Blood DK trait we were able to play around with. I examined it in my earlier Tank Azerite trait breakdown video and it sucks. It's about 12-ish percent of damage healing and really just not very good. Next it's Marrow Blood, which adds healing onto Death Strike based on your Bone Shield charges. It's a decent bonus, similar to Dark Grudge, but not nearly as interesting or game-changing. It's alright. And I know I said there were four of these things, but here's number five, Spell Reaper. It grants you a shield when you use Reap Magic, but that's it. Reap Magic is a class-wide skill for DK and BFA, so this bonus may be class-wide rather than only limited to blood. I don't really know how often you're going to be in a position to even use offensive dispels, so this trait seems like a pretty bad choice almost all of the time. I'm not a fan. I hate to end on a down note, so uh, maybe it'll get removed. <laughs> Before I finish up, I guess I should answer the most important questions of all. Is blood still fun? And is it good? Now this might come as a shock, but I can't see the future. So that makes it hard to know what decisions Blizzard might make right at the end of beta or even a couple of weeks after the expansion has been out. As of right now though, blood is really good. 
Their self-healing is better than ever, their active mitigation is still solid, and they are a tiny bit more mobile than they have been in years. As for fun? Oh yes. While I pointed out talents like Rune Strike and Tombstone as being pretty lousy during Legion, they have added something new to a playstyle that's frankly gotten a little stale as Legion drags on. So yeah, Blood's looking pretty fun and really strong. Well, I think that about covers it. If you have any questions about Blood DK, ask away. I will be previewing all of the other tank classes in the days and weeks to come. Stay tuned for more great BFA beta content, and as always, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye!